there's little left to recognize of this trailer home on Spanish Oaks Drive West after fire swept through it just before 4 a.m. Killed was 41-year-old Cheryl Montrone Davis. She never made it out of her bedroom. Spanish Fort Police were first on the scene and found an adult male and three children outside. Police say they told them a woman was trapped inside. First responders from Spanish Fort and Daphne Fire Rescue answered the call, but within minutes, fire had engulfed the entire home, making it impossible to enter. Davis's body was found once the fire was out. A dual investigation is now underway. The state fire marshal on the cause of the fire and police on the cause of death. We have an unnatural death, and so there's a criminal investigation looking into the death investigation at this point. Uh, not to say it's a homicide or anything, but you have an unnatural, unexpected death, and that's where uh, Spanish Fort PD is here working with the state fire marshal's office uh, on the investigation. According to what neighbors say the homeowner told them, the fire was already going when he was woken by his daughter. They say he was sleeping in another room, and when he tried to enter the room where his wife was, it was already engulfed in flames and too hot to go in. He and the children made it out with just the clothes they were wearing and no shoes on their feet. I know there's going to be needs for this family, so we're plugged in. Our chaplain was out here earlier uh, talking to them, talking to the schools already, making sure the schools were aware that some of their students just went through a traumatic event. And so, you know, I hope the community pulls together and that we take care of this family. Now, I just spoke with that homeowner, Thomas Davis. He is back here right now at the scene uh, with his children. They were looking around just too torn up to talk about it on camera. We spoke briefly off camera. He said that right now it's just too early to really know what he needs. You can see they've lost everything. No homeowner's insurance. His wife had no life insurance. So as chief of police there, you heard him say, certainly this community will pull together and help him as needed. We'll let you know when we find that out. Reporting live in Spanish Fort, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.